Hello and welcome to the ninth of our Advent messages. I'm going to start by reading from Zechariah and it's Zechariah chapter, uh, chapter 8 starting at verse 20. This is what the Lord Almighty says. Many people and the inhabitants of many cities will yet come and the inhabitants of one city will go to another and say, let us go at once to entreat the Lord and seek the Lord Almighty. I myself am going. And many peoples and powerful nations will come to Jerusalem to seek the Lord Almighty and to entreat him. This is what the Lord Almighty says. In those days, ten men from all languages and nations will take firm hold of one Jew by the hem of his, gar of his robe and say, let us go with you because we have heard that God is with you. It's a passage of reassurance. It's a passage that is written to the Jewish people and yet not about the Jewish people. Because it is speaking of the inhabitants that live around Jerusalem, that live around the Jewish nation at this time. And they have realised that the Jewish people have something that is good. They have the presence of God. And rather than come against them in violence, what they are then going to do is they are going to come seeking to find out and to experience and to entreat God for themselves. The Jewish people at this time have come out of exile. They have come from a time of violence and loss. And yet they are returning and they are trying to find out and understand who they are in this new situation. And so to hear again that God is with them is an important message for each one to hear. But not only to hear it from themselves, but for others around them to recognise that God is with them and to be desiring themselves to come and find God's presence. Now, for us here at this time, as we are, we've gone through some difficult experiences. And we've no doubt found ourselves at times wondering, where is God at this time? God is with us. That is one of God's promises, covenant promises to us. And we have in this passage people who were distinctive and recognised that they would be ones who could show others the presence of God. So that at the end of that passage, it says 10 men from different nations, from different languages, would come to a Jewish person and grasp the hem of his robe and then ask to go with him. I wonder if you are able to share your experiences 
of when God has been very real to you to share your experiences of the presence of God, to be willing to lead others into that experience. And then at the same time, as it speaks about, it's people who are willing to go and take the risk and seek God for themselves, where they believe God will be found. If you're one who is seeking God, come, come and ask questions, come. God is willing and desiring people to come and find him. On the wall behind me, we've got a star. And a little later in that Christmas story, we have the Magi who are willing to take the risk and follow a star and it leads them to Jesus. It's always, always good to follow and to find and to seek the presence of God. For God desires to be found and God offers God's love to each one. Shall we pray? Loving God, in this season, as we reflect again upon your presence, your presence in the world, your offering of yourself, of your love, of your wisdom, of your strength. We pray that each person who is seeking you will find you. And we pray that you would give us words and wisdom so that if people come to us seeking you, you would enable us to share your love and to be a people who are willing to go with others as we seek your presence together. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.